Once you have selected National Certification Application from the list of forms on the Complete a Form screen, this is the first screen that you'll see. First, scroll down and review all the information in the Eligibility Requirements section. Once you're sure that you have completed all the requirements and have the documentation necessary to support this fact, go ahead and check off this box to verify that you have met these requirements. Next, check off that you do not have a criminal history that disqualifies you from receiving this certification, reading these two policies if further clarification is necessary. Then, scroll further and enter the information to indicate which school you attended. Next, you'll need to submit a government ID to confirm your identification. To do so, you should have previously scanned in an eligible form of ID and saved the file on your computer. To provide us with this information, simply click the Add File button. Click Choose File so you can select where you've stored this information. Find your file, double-click it, and click Add to upload the file. You'll see a message indicating the file was uploaded successfully, and it will be listed here. If you need to delete the ID file for some reason and try again, you can use the X on the right to delete the file. Then you'll select your state from the Score Report drop-down. Then, in the Background Check section, you must check off the box to indicate that you agree that you will report any future changes to your answers in the Background Check section. The asterisks indicate these questions are required, so be sure to provide all answers. If you answered yes to anything, be sure that you provide information in this box here regarding those yes answers. If there are any documents related to these yes answers, you'll need to use the same process that you use to upload your government ID to upload these documents. If you are having anyone at your school assist you in completing this application, please indicate their names in this box. If you require accommodations because of a disability, indicate so here by clicking Yes, otherwise click No. At the bottom of the application, be sure that you read the statement in this box carefully. You can use the scroll bar on the right to be sure that you have reviewed the entire statement. Once you have read it, please check here to indicate that you have read it and that you agree to and understand the statement. At the bottom of the application, the next steps are indicated. If you're done, review the information carefully and you may submit. If you are missing some piece of information, you could save your application for a later time and you will be able to resume. As the system may time you out if you leave the computer idle too long while you search for information, this can be useful. Otherwise, when done, simply click Submit Form. You will be able to view the progress of your application from your home screen.